H2O, we will, you will. What's up studs? Welcome back to another episode of Whiteboards and Whistles. Today's big, our main focus is going to be nutrition with our big idea, water baby. All about water. So we got a couple essential questions for you guys um, to kind of get where we're going to go, um, give you an idea of a, of, of a focus. Um, not just exactly what water is, but why we need it. So our first, first essential question is, why is water important during the COVID quarantine? Okay. Um, our second question today is how much water do you actually need on a daily basis? So let's get into it. First thing is scientific name. Yeah, we're getting scientific. Okay. H2O. That's the molecule's name. That means there's two parts, hydrogen, two atoms, of hydrogen, and then there's one atom of oxygen. And this is what that looks like as a molecule. Okay. Which leads us to our next thing we're going to talk about. What does water actually do? Okay. Um, first off, your body, if you don't have water inside your body, it's not going to work. Nothing's going to function properly. So all the little cells from the hair cells, fingernail, skin, teeth, mouth, um, uh, let all of it, muscle tissue, everything that you got, all those little cells, they need water to function properly. So even just moving, things like that, we need water to do that. Um, the other important thing that's kind of cool, it makes up more than half your body weight. If you can imagine that, that's a lot of water in your body. Um, and then this is really, really crucial for us right here. If we don't have water in our body, all those cells that we have begin to die and we cannot last for more than a few days without water. So it is essential that we are drinking water every single day. Okay, so now we've talked about some of the scientific stuff and, and kind of, you know, what it does. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is some of the important jobs that water does in our body. So, mm, that does taste good. What I want you guys to know is that water is a major, major component of our blood. It makes up a lot of the blood that we see flowing through our veins um, throughout our body. Um, what that blood does, so important to our lives, what that blood does is it carries oxygen to all the cells in our body, all of them. One major thing that's really important that I love being a physical activity uh, enthusiast is that that oxygen um, supplies energy to our muscles so that we can move, we can run, we can do push-ups, sit-ups, all that stuff. Okay, um, So important. Just for us to even sit at a table and eat, we're using our core muscles, that takes oxygen. Um, so remember, muscles use oxygen to move, blood blood with the water in it carries that oxygen to all those cells that we so we can do things without without that oxygen our cells die our cells die so do we um there's more to important parts uh, important jobs of what water does it is a part of our lymph system. If you've ever heard of the lymphatic system um, or your lymph nodes, if you've got like a little cold or flu, you know they get swollen, maybe a little bit sore. Um, that's your, your lymph system working. Water is a big part of that that carries the fluid, the fluid um, to around the body so it can fight off all the diseases or the illnesses that are going on which is a big component to our essential question number one. So if you guys are wondering, well, what, what's all that? How do I, um, it's all about our immune system. Water helps us fight off all those things that are attacking our bodies. Um, the other thing that it does, which it is really hot in this room right now, is it helps regulate our body temperature. So if it's hot outside, we're gonna sweat a little bit, we're gonna get rid of some of that water, we're gonna cool off, and vice versa if it's cold. Okay, um, also, also, it helps us 
remove waste products. Our urine, our pee, and our poopy. Oh, that would have killed a normal man. But I'm not a normal man. You know what I need? I need some more water. How much water? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. How much water do you actually need in one day? You need about two liters, which is about two of these. This is one liter. Oh, ho, ho. yes, I'm getting excited. I need some more water, baby. Woo! Whiteboards and whistles. All right, the next thing is you need about eight, eight of these things. These are glasses of water, eight ounce glasses of water. You need about eight of those. And then you need about four water bottles, four of these. Four. I almost had them all. I almost had them all. You need about four of these in one day. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. I need more. Give me more water. Yes. Stay healthy. Drink water, baby. Woo. All right. What's up, studs? Our next little lesson is going to be on a little physical activity. So I want you guys to know our big idea right now is about body movement. Um, how our body move from standing up to sitting down to doing any, any type of activity such as walking to running and everything in between. Um, so, so body movement. One, one real important fact that we need to know is it's all about science, baby. All about science. So force equals mass times acceleration. That means if I want my body to move, I'm going to have to apply my muscles. are going to have to apply a force for me to stand up and move. All about body movement. Force equals mass times acceleration. Here's a neat little challenge for body movement I want you guys to try. Let's see if I can move my chair over. If you sit in a chair and you lean all the way back to where your back's flush with the back of the chair and you try and press and stand up straight up, you cannot stand up. What your body has to do, you have to lean forward a little bit, get yourself in position to where you can apply force with your legs, and then stand up. So here's our little challenge. Um, if you have a chair at home, go ahead and sit down with your back flush to the back of the chair and try it. You will not be able to do it. And if you can, I want you to make a video so we can uh, share it to our Google Classroom. So remember, force equals mass times acceleration. When our bodies accelerate, when our muscles accelerate, we move. Chair challenge! Drink your water! Acceleration! Someone say acceleration! Woo! I love acceleration! That's how our muscles move, baby! Yes! Two claps and a Ric Flair! Woo! Woo! Adam, baby! I love it! I can't get enough of this stuff! Our fitness challenge today, 10 push-ups, 10 air squats! If you don't know what an air squat is, you didn't pay attention in my class. Here we go. All the way down, we've got 45s, yada, yada, yada. You guys already know the rest. Boom! 10 of those bad boys, and then we got 10 crunches. Repeat that series three times and you'll be done with your fitness challenge for the day. But remember, force equals mass times acceleration. And for some of those of you out there that wanna get your cardio in, yeah, little high knee run in place for 47 days in a row. Let's get jacked, baby, let's do it, woo! And then for those of you who wanna go faster from acceleration, as fast as you can, yeah! And as always, Stay healthy and drink your water. On a serious note, um, I want to take time to thank all of the high schoolers I've worked with um, and taught the last four or five years, um, especially those near and dear to my heart at uh, Irrigan High School. I know seniors, you guys lost your um, graduation parties and um, the chance to walk across the stage. Um, hopefully the state will figure something out for you to have a little celebration. Um, but please know uh, from the bottom of my heart 
Um, I thank each and every one of you that's ever been in one of my classes. Um, you guys allow me to teach the way and um, be the person who I want to be to impact um, everybody I can. And then you guys in turn had a huge impact on me. So please know, you, you seniors, you guys are being prepped right now uh, to become tougher and stronger individuals so you guys can overcome anything um, that comes in your life. And, and please believe that because um, if you don't, um, it's just going to be hard for you. And everything we do is about being the best that we can be every day and reinventing yourself every day so you can, you can tackle any task that comes your way. Um, and please remember, um, Coach Saunders loves you all. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna end this with that. Remember, for those of you who have not subscribed to Whiteboards and Whistles, scroll down and subscribe, baby.